Hey everybody, it's Katerix, and welcome back to the Niche Jungle Challenge! We are here in the jungle, of course. As you can see, we've got our bird here. We have the smelly ape. Where is he? Where is he? Right over here, really, really close to Chloe. So this is going to be dangerous. She's probably going to get hit. I am going to absolutely try and get her to lead him away in this direction. And she might die because of it, guys. I know it's very sad, but I mean, keeping him away from our main pack would be absolutely fantastic. We do also have our new little tribe member coming in, and her name is Ruriko, and I am not going to change her name to a letter, but she brings with her Immunity K. And you know what? Her genetics are okay. She has hemophilia, which really sucks. But, I mean, she has that new gene, so I have to bring that in. The only problem is, the only two males I have that can even mate with her both share immunity A with her, so that's Charlie and Chewy. So, um, and Chewy especially also has hemophilia, which, I mean, definitely don't want that. But Charlie has normal blood clotting, but he has two no paws. It's like, it sucks, guys. It really, really sucks. So, um, with... Of course, Beryl and Basil, who basically all of these children that we see right now are Beryl and Basil's children. Um, it, they are about to have, they are on their last day. Excuse me, I can't talk. So I really want to try and breed them just this very last time in the hopes that they produce one male that is going to be a suitable match for Ruriko over here. That's my hope. Who the heck knows if I'm actually going to be able to do it. These guys are both both dying this turn, basically. So yeah, Basil has one day. Uh, okay, Beryl has two days, so she will die next turn, not this turn. But regardless, it's very unfortunate, and I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm a little worried about food right now, that's for sure. Somebody's gonna starve. I guess we can get Chloe to grab these, so nobody will starve this turn, but next turn, we're, we're really getting in the danger zone here, so I need to stop actually breeding all these babies. But at the same time, I really need to start um, getting through some of these generations in the hopes that uh, we can get some good genes going. So we have a better chance of survival. I am not seeing the hearing ape. He's in here somewhere. He's probably over here somewhere. But I don't know where he is. So let's try and figure that out. Let's make sure we move everybody. Uh, I am going to leave Coco there. That way she can take care of her little baby brother. We might as well move Basil here. And let's do an extra check. So we don't smell anything. We only hear the hearing ape. And Basil, I'm sorry, dude. Let's put your name back. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is... This is it. <laughs> this is very challenging, actually, which, you know what? That's exactly what I wanted anyway, so I'm not actually complaining. Uh, I think everyone has used their turns. We're pretty good, guys. Let's skip it. Let's see where the smelling ape shows up. Is he gonna hit Chloe? No, but we got a carnivore over here, and then all my double immunity children got nice and sick, so pretty awesome. Uh, Nuroko, he has double Gs, but he is a male, and, uh, that actually would mean that he would be pretty suitable for Ruriko over here. Uh, he has hemophilia though, so that's a problem. So maybe he's not. We might try mating her with Charlie, okay? Um, I mean, yeah, we could possibly get double immunities, but I feel like this is just a problem we're gonna have to deal with for a little bit anyways. So let's get Beryl to move here, collect. We'll get everybody to collect that can. We'll move Charlie out of the nest. We will grab up this stuff. Uh, grab a little bit of grass. Uh, these three will try and take down this carnivore. Where is this smelling ape? He's still just hanging out there. You know what? That's okay. He can stay right there. there I have no problem with that. Alright, let's just... Chloe can keep picking her berries here. Um, Coco has to hang out near this baby. 
no choice. We don't want this bird. He is eyeing our little babies right over here. He is ready to eat. So let's make sure that that does not happen. Coconut, my dear, which is the cutest name, by the way. It really is super cute. Uh, we will just have everybody attack this guy. Somebody is probably going to get attacked in return, but that is the price we will have to pay. So yeah, he only has one day now. Here's hoping that he maybe attacks Coconut and gets hit by the spiky body. I don't know. It doesn't really matter who he attacks. It's going to suck either way. Let's see, Rico. Uh, let's have her move here. And she can't actually collect from this, which is unfortunate. Or unfortunate. My, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't talk, guys. It's, it's all right, I'm gonna be okay. Uh, Cassie, she also doesn't have any collecting. So I should get someone with collecting over near this berry bush, and I should actually get, uh, Cassie over by this tree. That would probably be a good idea. So let's, uh, maybe, mm, let's smell. Do we have any sticks nearby for Ruriko to grab? I don't think so. We can maybe move her here and maybe she could try hitting up a bunny or something. Uh, I don't think, did I name this? Ooh, my goodness, my camera's going crazy. Did I name this little guy? No, I did not. So he needs a C name. Let's name him... Uh, I don't know. Let's name him... Let's name him Choo Choo. I don't know, guys. It's just... Whatever. <laughs> I, I gotta fix my camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so who else can we move? I think we've moved everybody. We could probably move Cassie off of this thing here. I don't see anything, hear anything, smell anything. We'll move her over, and we can start working her towards this tree, even though it does seem like a pretty dangerous area right now but let's skip the turn all right so this guy got hit we'll make sure that we'll lick him lick his wounds uh we're of course as i said dangerously close with the food situation uh that was actually a lot of food how much food was that? Was that like 10 food or something crazy? I don't know. I will definitely figure that out when I go back and edit this. I'm sure. Uh, let's just get- I don't want to get all the grass out of the way, but some grass out of the way will be good. Just so... These guys need to be able to run if they need to run, basically. So Charlie... Uh, Charlie has like no- what can I do with him? He has... No paws. I guess he's just gonna keep looking at stuff for us. That's just gonna be the way it is, I guess. Uh, we can have Rico come through here, knock a path through this grass so we can connect it to the rest of the people. And is this- this hearing ape is not moving. He is just ominously standing there, uh, targeting his prey, Chloe, just stalking her. That is so weird. I don't know why that's happening, but at the same time, I'm not really complaining about it. So, okay, Cassie found another uh, berry bush, which is fantastic. She is getting um, old. There, I haven't really found any uh, any healing plants here. I know there was like a couple like in the middle somewhere. While I was running away from the other predators, I found them, but. Unfortunately, like, nobody's- Cassie's not gonna be able to get to that quick, just running into the grass blindly, so that's a little unfortunate, really. Uh, let's see, we got Coco here, and you know what? Who was the one I wanted to mate Ruriko with? I think it was Charlie. Even with his double no paw, just the fact that I can't affect the normal blood clotting, I think he is going to be the one to mate with Ruriko over here. Uh, I do- I did say I also want to get some of these guys over here that can collect from these berry bushes, and Coco, you are most certainly going to be the chosen one, my dear. Okay, everybody has used their turn, let's skip our turn again. Skip the day, I suppose, would be better. This guy came out of nowhere! That is too bad. Uh, Charlie, you have poison, so that's pretty good. Antlers and big body, so he does have an okay amount of strength. Like, it's not good or anything. But, um, you know what? Ruriko can come in here, and she can get a slap in. 
Uh, Coco can come in here and get a couple slaps in. Uh, would Cassie even be able to make it? Probably not. Oh, okay, she can get one slap in. So Cassie has swooped in and saved the day, so that is fantastic. Okay, well, let's have... Let's have Chip hang out here. And then she should be able to collect from this berry bush. She has one collecting. It's better than no collecting. That is for sure. So she can do that for us. Uh, what about this little guy? He also has double no paw. Oh god, like this is just terrible. Let's move him this way. I feel like we could possibly get him to... I think double no paws used to be able to crack nuts. Well, he can crack no matter what because he has the cracker jaw. So he has two cracking. So that's actually okay. That will be his job. We will get him near this tree. Hopefully it does not disturb. Oh, uh-oh. That smelling ape moved. Okay, where's the smelling ape? I was going to say hopefully that doesn't disturb the smelling ape, but it looks like he has run off somewhere else. So that's pretty frustrating. A little bit scary at the same time. Okay, so Chewy, you can collect this. And Coconut, can you collect from this? You absolutely can, so you will. And you know what? Let's have Coconut make the first dive into this area in the hopes that there are no super scary predators in there. I don't, I don't hear or smell anything, so we're safe for now. And we're definitely gonna get to Generation D, guys. So that will be good. Uh, we have Coco, and she can come over here, and here, smell. I don't see anything bad. She can collect from this. And we can have Ruriko get here. Uh, Charlie is still not old enough to mate yet, but we can get ready for it at least. Uh, we can just have these guys kind of hang out around the berry bushes because really what else can they even do? We need the food for sure. I'm feeling a bit more comfortable now. We've lost a couple creatures of old age, so we should be okay. Maybe. Maybe. Right, guys? I don't know. Uh, this is scary. I feel like the smelling ape's gotta be like right around here. He's definitely gonna jump on these two. Like, look at that! There's like a piece of meat there. So, I didn't kill it. Somebody killed it. That is scary. Okay, whoever gets jumped by this predator is going to have to run in the opposite direction of our creatures because that is just about the only way to keep everybody safe. Chip, she can collect from here. I'm wondering, okay... Uh, with the few males that we have, we really are just going to have to kind of take the chance of getting double immunity babies. I know we have a lot of them already, but we might just have to chance our best uh, our best females mating with these guys just to ensure our survival. So I'm thinking Chewy and Chip could possibly have a couple of babies. I know that it's not the best situation, however, I feel like they are both pretty good. You know what? Celia and Chip could have a baby too. Yeah, maybe it'll be Celia and Chip. They're, they're both pretty good options. At least Celia has like an active normal eye, so she might be the better option. I'm mostly looking at this blood clotting though. So I think, yeah, I think Celia and Chewy, babies are gonna happen with those two. Uh, have we used everyone's turns? I believe so. Let's skip the day. All right, well, I think this meat is gone. So that's something. Uh, okay, let's get these guys, let's get our cracker jaws cracking. Uh, you can pick up that food, you can pick up that food. So that's pretty good. We're getting some extra food from our Cracker Jaws. And is this the only tree we have? Yeah, it's the only tree where we can collect nuts. So we probably won't worry about too many Cracker Jaws 
Like, we won't worry about breeding it in, is what I mean, since there's only one tree. I guess you could have them um, go along the shore here for some clams, but whatever. We'll just have everyone collect some berries, and I'm feeling a bit more comfortable about our food situation now, so we can have Charlie mate with uh, Ririko, and she can have her baby. She might as well dig there, and she might as well uncover that so we know where the bunny burrow is, and let's check out... Hmm, so we're looking at their genes. They are uh, more than likely to have okay eyes. Let's see their paws. Now, I'm worried about the paws. So let's put... Hmm. I'm thinking actually maybe velvet paw would be okay. And maybe a second paw just, uh, just cuz. Just cuz. Just to influence the paws a bit so we can maybe hopefully have like double the chance of getting rid of, uh, rid of the no paw. So I'm thinking runner's leg would be okay. Because I'm pretty confident that they are not going to have problems with their eyesight. Not the babies that come out of these two. So let's have Coco collect. And these guys can collect too. Chloe is still doing pretty good over here. I've already had her collect. But I think we've done everybody's turns. So let's hear again. Not that it matters, because I can't move anybody, but we might as well just give it a shot just so we can know if things show up. And let's take a look at our lovely Generation 4 Letter D baby. Alright, we have a little girl. She has double immunity, go figure. So let's name her... Let's name her Duffy. Because, you know, whatever. I got some names written down and Duffy is going to be the one. And she has a digger's paw, which you guys know is like my least favorite paw. Besides no paw, obviously. But other than that, um, and I guess other than her double immunity, she's not too bad. She's alright. So that is... That's okay. That's okay, guys. You guys could have had a worse baby. Bas what is that? A rogue male. Get the heck out of here. And he totally impregnated Chip. Damn it. Oh man. Can I click on him? I must be able to click on him, right? Well, I can't right now for some reason, but I'm going to try and check him out if he gets a little bit closer. I'm going to... Yeah, there we go. Can I check him out? You know what? Considering all of the, uh... All of our males right now, he does not have the worst of the worst uh, genetics. I mean, he's certainly no worse than Charlie besides his eyesight. So I guess that's not a big deal. We'll see what comes of that relationship. But I am going to smack him again. Stay the heck away from my females. I'm going to put... Oh, I wanted that nest. That freaking Dodo Mingo. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't you be doing anything with Coco. Mm mm. No, thank you. It's bad enough you got Chip. Don't get Coco, too. Uh, okay, these two. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Darn. Okay. I'll have him mate with her. She can move back over here. And I suppose. You know what? You know what? No, I'm gonna put her over here in this nest. I don't really have a hell of a lot of nesting material, so we're just gonna do that. Uh, I did not check. I did not listen for anything or try to smell anything. So I figure that's probably really important to continuously do, especially after you skip the day. So, so far, we've been really lucky. Those predators, the apes, have been leaving us alone. So that's good actually. Uh, let's move over here. We'll go over here. Do we have any food? No. But let's hit the tree. We'll grab this, we'll grab that, and then he can grab that nut next turn. So that is pretty good. I think we're doing very well this playthrough. Much, much better than last episode where I, I swear, I was so stressed out. I thought like, oh no, this is gonna be the last episode. 
but so far we've been pretty okay, and I heard something terrible. I mean, I think a bunny got hit or something. I don't know what happened. But that's disheartening. So let's move, let's grab food, and then move Chip in here, and I think that guy had like crappy eyes. So let's go in here and put the eyes back. And then let's let's bring this velvet paw in as well, just so we can try and be really sneaky because we do have a hearing ape around here. And this guy can't do anything. Oh, let's grab this meat. Excellent. Good, we will get Ruriko in this nest. She can just get rid of some of this. And, um, okay, well, I guess I didn't want to worry about the eyes with them, but you know what? It's okay. I want to worry about the eyes with her. So I just want to- Oh, and then this stupid Dodo Mingo took this nest too. And she's not getting out. What a pain. These Dodo Mingos are a true pain, and I didn't really have to deal with that for our last playthrough. Oh, we can grab this meat. I like how uh, these crabs just kind of roll over and die eventually. So that makes life a heck of a lot easier. Uh, let's see here. You can grab that nut, and you might as well hit this, and then grab this. Excellent. So we got- we're getting tons of food now, which is good. I'm feeling very comfortable with our food situation, especially considering when I started the game, we had five, which was certainly not enough to feed our tribe here. So we've used everyone's turns, and let's check out these adorable babies. So let's check out Ruriko's baby first. Alright, another girl. Um, she's uh, pretty healthy, actually. So that that's a success in my book. She has she does not have conflicting immunities. She only has hemophilia and her recessive, and she only has one no paw. That is absolutely fantastic. I am going to name her Diamond. So there we go. Little Diamond. So Adorable too. Oh, oh, I zoomed in too much. It was it was too too pretty too pretty to handle So that is absolutely fantastic. Now. Let's check out this baby. Oh, we got a spit snout. So that's fun Two no paws crappy eyes uh, Conflicting immunities. That's all right, and it's a boy. So we may actually end up mating him so let's name him Let's name him Domino uh, you know, by the way guys, any any names you want to see, I am most certainly using names that get suggested to me, so just, uh, so just let me know guys, because I will most certainly use them. So let's check out Chewy and Celia's, um, their genetics, I got, I gotta keep those eyes in there, they're gonna have short-sighted eyes for sure. And you know what? I think the mutation menu is fine. So the the eyes in the 30% slot and the velvet paw in the 10% slot. That works for me. Uh, other than that, we will can get her pregnant again. Let's see if we can get this guy sneaking up on this and grab that meat. And uh, Ruriko has to stay there to take care of her baby. Alright, everyone else can, of course collect and I get again did not really listen or smell to make sure any of these big predators got to us oh that's bad um who was that I believe that was chewy I'm pretty sure it was anyway let's double check and make sure we don't have two chewies yeah we don't have two chewies so we're good uh I, look at this I'm actually kind of liking this this tree barrel and basil and it actually shows you so we've been doing pretty good here. Uh, where's Ruriko though? Oh, Ruriko's here. Yep, that works. That's nice, I like that. I wish that the family tree in this game, um, kinda, I guess, what am, what am I trying to say? I wish that the family tree would show you all of the generations. Oop, that's the wrong menu. Like, I wanna see Adam, Ava, and then all the way down because these things delete uh, they the family tree deletes creatures when um, when they're dead and don't have any offspring so clearly Beryl and Basil had more siblings 
we just, uh, they're not here. And of course, we had Adam and Ava, and they are not here. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm hoping that that's something that they will improve in the future, because I feel like then I would use it a lot more. So, that's okay, though. Uh, we can get Chip back up here, and she can keep collecting from this. And Duffy... We can move her over one, I think, and she doesn't have any collecting abilities, but I mean, she can just clear some grass for us and maybe we can start diving deeper into the jungle. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit hesitant about doing that just because we've been so lucky right now with these predators not coming after us. But uh, okay, so this is gonna be the last turn. And I believe we've moved everybody that we would like to move. So let's check out this baby and then we're going to end it at that. And I think we had a very, very successful run today. All right. So we have Kasir, who is now going to be changed to, I think Dahlia is a nice name. So we will name her Dahlia. And she's like super healthy. She has two paws, two runner's legs, which is fantastic. Only has hemophilia on the recessive. She has good eyesight, too. Oh, Dahlia is like a success. Dahlia is definitely a special one over here. So that was fantastic. Let's just take a quick little gander. And it looks like Coco or Coconut passed away, like, just now. So that's unfortunate. Um, but look, we look like we're doing really, really good. So... This episode, we did super awesome. It was a pretty calm and tame episode compared to our last two episodes. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.